Hello and welcome back to Let's Play the Lamplighters League with me, Break It Down. So the plan is to go through all the housekeeping stuff right now. So we'll listen to the conversations, I'll do all my upgrades, and then I'll throw in an edit, do the Nicastro Last Stand, and then you won't see the next part of the edit until I find the next agent on the world map. So let's jump in. Your mercy has not gone unnoticed. Beg your pardon, darling. The child the court contracted you to kill. The one whose life you spared. Shh. Keep your voice down. That child was a bodhisattva of the earth. His death would have been a terrible loss. Was he? I wondered who'd hire a sand club gun for a twelve-year-old. How'd you know all this? I have been in the dark for a long time. But I still have some means left to me. Well, what do you know? In another life, I might have made an enemy out of you. Be glad the cards fell as they did. Sure, but it would have been a hell of a fight, eh? Excuse me, Judith? I overheard that this is personal for you, that you're seeking revenge on Trace Marteau? Uh-oh. You here to save my soul, sister? What? No, 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 no. I admire you. Men like Marteau must be stopped. Didn't expect that from you. I thought you were a nun. I was a religious sister. I renounced my vows. Explains the rifle. I left the convent to join this fight. People like that don't stop until people like us stop them. Anyway, I wanted to let you know that I have your back out there. All right, Anna Sophia. Let's you and me do some damage. Trace Marto is adored around the globe. How did you see behind his facade? That wasn't hard. He killed my parents. I am sorry. Everyone keeps saying that. How did he do it? Very slowly and then real quick. My father and mother were both brilliant. Their work in Kimfler dampening fields was groundbreaking. Then Trace Marteau showed up in his fancy car and suit and offered to fund their research. Turns out he had seen some local press about their work. He does have a nose for talent. It wasn't like my folks were drowning in offers. Marteau needed dampening fields 50 to 100 times stronger than the standard for some secret project, and he needed it fast. The dampening fields would help with the crossroads network. Yeah. When he said what he was willing to pay, my father's jaw hit the floor. Surprising. Marteau usually drives a hard bargain. Mm, hard part's coming. He pushed my parents to the brink. No matter what they did, it was never enough. He'd demand a prototype on Friday and return Monday furious when it wasn't strong enough. I was at school. I didn't know any of this was happening. I found out later he was sending them photos of me on campus. The threat was clear enough. Now that does sound like Marteau. The last time I saw them, they were exhausted. But they have finally generated a stable field that lived up to Marteau's expectations. They were about to tender their resignations. But with the technology in hand, Marteau would no longer need your parents. Exactly. The accident happened the next day. It took out half the block. My parents and five others were found later. The lab, their work, all their research, gone. Marteau cleaning up loose ends. Far as I'm concerned, it's Marteau that's the loose end. Divine blessings. Something challenging today, I hope. Okay, let's finally grab the adamantine lining. It grants plus 15 armor, plus 1 speed. Becoming shock damage, fire damage, and poison damage are reduced by 50%. I wonder how that works with Judith's fortify ability. Which one gets... I guess it doesn't matter, it'd be 50% and 50%. I'm assuming it's not additive. Which would be 100%. It might be. Lines the agent's clothing with a paper-thin adamantine sheets. They flex with the body's motion, but go rigid when absorbing attacks. You see the detailing? We're gonna give that to Judith. And let's spend some ink real quick. 
I want to see if we can get rid of this minus one speed. If we upgrade the behemoth all the way to five. Oh, we can't look at the next upgrade yet. Well, that's fine. All right, we have 14 skill points and one steric steel to spend. I think we'll put all of those on Latif. Let's grab Unshakable. When an attack misses Latif, he negates one incoming stress. Unshakable 2. When an attack misses Latif, he negates one incoming stress and the attacker becomes marked. And we have more skill points, we can grab Quicksilver. I think he's the only one that we can spend Seric Steel on right now, right? Yeah. We do have two more skill points to spend. Let's do Precision on Celestine. Crit Chance plus 10%. A fantastic passive. Alright. And now I'll throw in an edit. I will do Nicastro's Last Stand again. <laughs> and next time you see me, we'll have hopefully found the next agent. And welcome back. Off camera, I have played through the Nicastro Last Stand again, and I've done two Operation Ricochets, which is the mission where we go and steal an artifact. I found a way I could potentially cheese the intelligence missions to hopefully get a recruitment mission, but it's not foolproof. So what I've done is I, I save before the end of a mission, and then when it loads to the hideout, it changes which mission spawn. But it seems like there's a limited number of, for lack of a better word, cells. So say I finish the mission, and I get the three cards, the Waif, the Sadist, and the Gambler. Whenever I get those three cards, it's the same two missions that spawn on the world map. And it seems you can only get so many sets of cards at the end of a mission. So it's pre-generated to an extent, but also partially randomized. So I've spent a lot of time reloading and trying to get the recruitment mission to spawn with no luck. So I tried to play through another mission, and now we're at the point where we have a uh, Marteau last stand we have to take care of. And since we haven't seen that yet, I figured we'd go ahead and show that off. So, uh, Lamplighters, our situation is dire. Trace Marteau has a dimension drill in every city, or near enough. He's completed his preparations to wield the Bright Storm, and is on the verge of seizing the tower. If we don't stop him now, he will destroy the barrier between life and death. Then we must attack. If we destroy their preparations, they will not be able to enter the tower. That's the idea. Success buys us time. Failure costs us everything. Give them everything you have out there, whether it knows it or not. The entire world is counting on you. Also, I did not spend any resources in between missions, just so I could show off everything that I decide to do with the points. Uh, so we have the one Seric Steel Steel, st steel, still, and uh, 43 skill points to spend. And a couple conversations to go through. Watch as I make this coin disappear. It's in your other hand. No, it's not. Look. Now it's in your sleeve. There's no way you saw it go into my sleeve. I didn't, but it couldn't be anywhere else. What do you have against magic tricks? Nothing. I just think you need better ones. Hello there. I'm looking for someone who might fancy a drink. Would that be you? It would indeed. Ah, smashing. Gin, all right? Beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> Especially on a deserted island. I have some interesting alternatives to alcohol, if you ever have an interest. But I should warn you, they can... Alter one's point of view. Huh. I'll have to keep that in mind. If I ever find myself in need of alteration. Of course. But for now, let us delight in the divine fragrance of Juniper. How are you in need? Okay. Let's go ahead and level up Latif. We'll grab the weapon upgrade Quicksilver. Increased hit chance, significantly increased crit chance, higher ammo capacity. Quick to draw, quick to fire, and as polished as any gemstone. The perfect accessory for the finest thief this side of Monte Carlo. We'll grab Unshakable 3. 
When an attack misses Latif, he negates one incoming stress and his cooldowns are reduced by one. The attacker becomes marked. Decoy 3 Latif sets a 220 hit point decoy in a cloud of smoke, becomes invisible, and moves to a selected location. Nearby enemies attack the decoy for two rounds or until destroyed, with an effect, a, area of effect of 9. The decoy's max HP is increased by 50. Iron Will, a max stress plus 3, we can't afford distract 2 yet. We do have a lot of ink. Let's spend that on somebody. Need 2048 for those. Also, after the last mission, I think I got. I think it was the Waif upgrade. So that's at 4 instead of 3 now. Right? And I reloaded so many times, I don't remember. I also found one card one time that was really good. It's called the Grand Wind, I believe. And when an agent is inspired, when they attack, they have a 10% chance to generate 1 AP. I don't recall it saying it had a, a cap per turn. So that'd be really good on someone like Eddie, who shoots twice per attack. And since my team's almost always inspired, I feel like we'd trigger that effect quite frequently. Anyway. Last Dan against Trace Marteau. wonder what happens once we max out the purple skulls, if it's another color after that. And I did the Nicastro last stand off camera. It didn't seem any more difficult than the first time. Actually, it seemed easier, so... A phenomena, the Marteau Scion. Trace Marteau is personally overseeing this mission, we'll get 14 skill points. Destroy enough dimension drills to set back Trace Marteau's assault on the tower. Trace Marteau plans to channel the Bright Storm through his dimension drills to collapse the barrier between life and death all at once. So it comes to this. Grace Marteau stands on the verge of victory. He enters the tower, the world is his, and all is lost. But he's relying on his dimension drills to help him control the torrential energies of the Bright Storm. Destroying even a few of these ruinous machines will force Marteau to delay his plans, for a little while at least. The agents must buy time. They must win this battle, or lose everything. This is it. We must win here, or all is lost. Into the old pocket with you. Lamplighter's tonic. It was seventy hit points and force stress to teammates in the target area and grant one AP. here let me hold on to this I don't think we've ever found Seric Steel or uh, King's Ether in one of these missions, which is unfortunate because I feel like while I'm trying to find the last agent, I'll be playing through a lot of last stand missions. We get a ton of skill points though. 
The recruitment campaign. A Rima Banish Court recruitment pamphlet sits tied with twine, ready for distribution. Also, there were different inspection points, or uh, lore snippets. And then a cast your last stand on the second run. I didn't record it, so... We never see it. And there is a, a large variety of lore you can find in missions, which is fantastic. Yeah, I can use this. So I may not end up seeing all of it in a single playthrough anyway. This always works, except when it don't. See if we can cause a little trouble. Find the best position. Keep going. But it's not the first time that's happened, and it won't be the last. Get out of this. I know we can. Let's not dally. Seize the advantage. Together now. Give me strength. All right, not too shabby. Five targets. It's not too bad. You get six shots, so. Oh, wait. You best stay down and keep away from my friends here. I'm not a big fan of that. Alright, what can we do with Perniba? So, you want to see what I can really do? How about a challenge sometime? Stay close. All right, let's have some fun.
Alright, not too shabby. You actually do this as well. So we hardly ever use that ability. She's so AP hungry with her shots. You can help us with this. I'll make this quick. Wait, let me try that again. Go on, try again. This time without clenching your shoulders. You are not really in a position to lecture me. I have to reload there, but it's fine. Five damage shots. Fantastic. Right, let's actually do this. Back off. Jolly good one. Got you with the pants down, huh? Buffalo Bill, eat your heart out. Ho oh, oh, nice one. It's just easier to click on these. Yeah. I was thinking it was the camera in a weird way, and you can't click on the target you actually want to click on. I guess you just click on it right away instead of hitting the fire button. Next, yeah, I just click on this instead. Oh, maybe it can't. Even if it kills me. Especially if it kills me. Huh. It'd be faster if I just ended my turn and had Eddie use light him up on all these, but I've already committed. Have a little fun. One down. Keep moving. One down indeed. This is the most damage I've taken in the Let's make tracks. past three missions I did off camera. <laughs> On the radio. Layered into the radio static is what sounds like a voice. The shapes of the words lost beneath the noise. But listening closer, it was just a crackle of interference. Marteau Method 4. Beneath a photograph of Trace Marteau holding a sweating glass of lemonade in one hand, and a roll of 20s in the other. When life gives him lemons, the sucker makes lemonade. The smart man sells it. Marteau Method of Self-Mastery, Rule 12. You know what? Let's go ahead and use that. 
There we go. Uncanny grenade. Ordnance ain't pretty, but it sure as hell works. What does it do? Yo, 250 damage and shred 20 armor in target area. We'll be using that, I guess. Move out. I all sorts of neat stuff now. This should buy you some time. I'm an engineer, not a spy. Sneaking around is not my field. Only four enemies. Just four of these guys. That really matters, though having him crit to reload would have been ideal. Now this is a firefight. Uh -huh. I've been paying attention. Hot damn! Alright, not too shabby. Let's try and get uh, Judith in here. Out of the way! Not optimal, but that's all right. Actually, I think we just shoot this guy one more time. No stress break. It's easy when you know what you're doing. It's all in the wrist. Oh, not yet. Told you I could handle this on my own. Alright. Ooh, right in the soft bits. Can't have this lot running around wreaking havoc, can we? Reloading. All right, move him a little closer. I just have light him up available right now. Look alive, y'all. I'm 
getting good at this. I probably don't need all this extra AP, but... Why not? And yet. I did not ask for this. Wanna dance? These don't come cheap, by the way. We just keep beating the odds. Two down! Might just pull this off! I haven't used any of my signature abilities yet, have I? I don't need to pick up any more supplies. I'm not really spending it. Alright, we'll the second win there and pick it up on the way back because we have to fight once we go through that gate. First, we go over here. Uh, we'll go in this little building off to the left. Uh, Marteau will sense us. He'll come up here by himself. We'll defeat him. Tactical report Lacuna Shades. A dossier emblazoned with the insignia of House Strum. Angry guys bound to Marteau's service. Despite their spectral origins, they're susceptible to conventional damage. A bullet will drop a shade as surely as it will a soldier. That is where the good news ends. These shades of Marteau's are like storms given form, beings of shadow and death. Their whales spread a darkness like bubbling pitch. They plant seeds of doom in their wake. Threat assessment, extreme. Avoidance is recommended. Strum Desert Command. Easy does it. Look alive, people. The undrawn hand strikes again. Another shot at Marteau. Let us make this right. Actually, I don't know if we can take him out in one turn, because he has that little uh, teleport maneuver. I don't remember if he can use it on his turn, or if he use it on our turn, or only on his turn. Oh, come to see me off to the tower, huh? You're too kind. I've been eager to try these in the field. Come on out now! You didn't think I'd go into battle without a plan B? Let him have it. So he does that. And now he's at the wait, I guess. Lining up a shot. Don't wander off now.
slow down there. Shall we continue? Welcome back, buddy. We can make it out of this. I know we can. know who I am, Trace Marto? Darling, I have no idea who you are. You will soon. I'm gracious enough to admit I'm mildly impressed. Marvelous shot. I'm bored with you. Try to be more interesting next time, won't you? Instant matter movement. Hell of a trick. Turn it down, and now just don't stop now. Here, the uh, shade. Together now. He's pretty tanky, so. Be some of our cooldowns, of course. Knowing exactly where to strike helps. Well, how do you do? Run for the hills, boys! Should've used that first. Divine Mother, protect me. Oh, it's when they stress break. They retaliate right away. That's why that one uh, Thrall attacked us. What for? I'm guessing when they stress break, they don't turn into a little orb thing. So, you want to see what I can really do? Ha! Did you see that? I'm another fox. Not sure where that guy ran off to. I was move closer, prepare for the next turn. I don't want to try and overextend. Oh, she can get a shot off. It's probably worth it. Yeah, so they're all teleporting in that direction. Leaving the Magister by himself. Just keep creeping forward, so we can't reach all of them. First sign of movement.
I shouldn't have moved up with her yet. Move it. And it still works out. Glide our way. I should have buffed her up with uh, Anna Sophia first. Not like we're struggling, so it's not not a big deal. We have righteousness on our side. Let's try this. We could do this and maybe shield bash. Yeah. Bring in the heat. Nope. Necessary. Don't give him any peace. Light him up. Go and shoot at something because we can. Oh, just the one enemy left. I don't know where he's at though. Oh, there he is, right beside us. Let's shake things up a bit. So if Anna Sophia can finish off this guy, my damage dealers can take out the generators before the defenses activate. And specifically because Judith is better at taking out the generators since she shoots twice. Whenever she shoots at a generator, she takes Another out the shield and then destroys it. one on the far side as well, which I don't think we'll be able to get to this turn. Or maybe we can. Let's see if we can find some more trouble. That's it, mates! We've done it! Wait here. And still no uh, signature abilities used. I spammed them <laughs> the missions off camera, and then I was like, ah, didn't need them here. This looks interesting. Oh, Sarek Steel, fantastic. I don't need any of this stuff. So I was wrong. You can't find Sarek Steel and King's Ether in this mission. It's open. Also, a ton of those other items, which we can't buy. I guess now, you can only find this? them in the missions. The uh, Uncanny Grenade and the uh, Lamplighter's Tonic. Right to it.
I never picked up this key. It's usually a mob over here that drops it. Now we did pick up an iron key, but I don't know what that was for. That's all the enemies right there. Alright, well, let's go check out the other mob. The other squad. Hope that I'm not, uh, I somehow locked myself out of this mission. Here we go, Brasky. Useful. Oh, Anna Sophia. Watch my back. Here we go. Oh, the, uh, the iron keys for the little building that we lockpicked. All right, we're through. Whatever it takes. Excuse me. Than this fight. Keep going. We can beat them. All right, let's beat these guys up. Try and spread the armor shred and bleed damage on Anna Sophia. Get rid of his evade. Is she not doing any damage to this guy? Gear. Seems a little silly. Right on the money. Spread the damage as best as I can at this point. And hoping for the best. Absolute legend I am. Spot of the weak point. Did not mean to use the waif. The serpent and the waif, they swap spots. So I just select whichever Even if it one. Kills me. Especially if it kills me. Definitely didn't need to use it on that enemy, but sure. People. Hey, wait, this what? I get their attention. It's where we targeted this guy. Eh, whatever. Impressed. Definitely not the uh, smoothest start to a fight. Oh wow, it landed.
Getting shot up here. I gotta go talk to some whiskey about this. Does it want looking at? Please let this bring some justice to the world. Divine light, give me strength. Keep on like this, and the noble houses will be ruins in no time. Only one of us walking away from this. I take and out some of the be. softer targets first. Told you I could handle this on my own. And they have him take out the acolyte as well, because why not? I reload for some extra damage here. Don't come cheap, by and the strategist who it up to 66 damage. Not too shabby. I mean, he's traded this fortify ability. I wish we would have found Judith earlier in. Oh, not that it really impacted anything, because you get so many skill points. Give me some room. I'll reduce your cooldowns, hopefully, so we can get our abilities out, but it looks like that's not gonna happen. Well, she has three more right AP, so. You see? So, no uh, cooldown reduction. There it is, but. May not matter now, right? We can make it out of this. I know we can. And it matters a little bit. But it won't be the full combo. Knowing exactly where to strike helps. Divine Mother, give me strength. All right, not too shabby.
Let's wrap this up. Get him out in the open for Eddie. I really should focus on one group. If I split my my targets across both beacons. Gonna teach you to tangle with Eddie Sawyer. Now he's gone, but we're out of AP. Let's take a little damage here. For the heels, boys. All right, let me use the waif on this guy. They've left themselves open. Bloody perfect shot, wasn't it? Two hundred and forty-eight damage. That's almost as much damage as that uh, uncanny grenade does. I know she's getting knocked down. I should have shot with Eddie instead, but it's all right. Back on your feet, Blimey. Thanks. to see what I can really do. Oh, barely even looked that time. Throwing a grenade! Move it! It's actually who I meant to target. Not the first time I've done that, and it won't be the last. And another hit for Harlow. That's no dolly. Seize the advantage. Get him off balance. I'm good. And who's still alive? Reloading. Oh, this guy. Oh, I'll let him come to me then. Or not. Jasmine Harsley for doing what must be done. I'm getting good at this. Look at you, Swarter. Huh. Are we gonna make a habit out of this? Alright, let's go. I have more ether I don't need. Supplies I don't need. If they put a crown on that ether, it'd be useful. Keep close. All right, another last the stand complete. The enter the tower now, not with their preparations in ruins. They've done it. They bought me and the unknowing world. That most precious gift. More time. 
Time we must not waste. We'll find ourselves right back here again, gathering ourselves for another last stand. Well, that's our fourth last stand. Yeah, so Fadir. That's the agent we're missing. I don't know if there's more, but that's the one I've seen in the tooltips a couple of times. And who I'm trying to get before I beat the game. But it is proving to be quite the challenge. Not the Avenger and the Mana Core. So, I also thought maybe it's dependent on how many weeks have passed. So, like, maybe, like, every five weeks another recruitment mission pops up. So, that would put us... I'd have to count the agents. I didn't actually do the math for that. But that's... It's a possible... Um, or, I guess it's just a, it's a possibility. All right, last stand mission complete. With the destruction of the Dimension Drills, Trace Marteau's preparations to take the tower have been set back. The pending apocalypse has been halted, for now. Marteau's doomsday clock was set back. Let's take a quick peek. Okay, there are now three missions though. So I'll do the same thing off camera, I'll run one of these missions, uh, probably Marteau's to keep it kind of under control. Have we done a mission like this before? Yeah. It's a tough tough mission. I might do that though. Might be more fun because we've only done one of these missions. Um, yeah, I'll do that off camera and I'll try my reload technique again now that we have three intelligence missions. No, there's four. So we hit a threshold. What week are we on? Uh, 45, uh, 46. So I'm going to guess at week 45, we hit a threshold. Now we have four intelligence missions, which gives us four opportunities for a recruitment mission. Or it could be because we've done a last stand against all three houses. But I'm guessing it's it's time passed. It's taking 45 weeks, so if we hit 90 weeks, do we get two more? I wonder how that works. Alright, well my hopes are up. Again, we have four opportunities to find the next recruitment mission. Yeah, hopefully I do, <laughs> and I'm not stuck in uh, limbo trying to recruit the, the last agent, or agents, but we'll see. Either way for now, thanks for watching, hope to see you guys in the next one.